This is the real reason that you should be using sunscreen. Here's an example of what your skin could look like in a few years with using sunscreen and protection. And this is what it could look like without it. Let me explain why. And then what you can do to still get tan, still enjoy the sun without having to deal with this sort of damage. And trust me, I love the sun. My back got absolutely destroyed at the beach. So what causes wrinkles and lines on your face is lack of elasticity in your skin. So picture you have a rubber band. The farther you stretch it out, the less elastic it becomes. Meaning it's going to be harder and harder to get back to its regular form. Now your skin works the same way, but instead of stretching it, the sun is basically sucking out the elasticity. So before you go in the sun, you need to use at least a 50 SPF sunscreen. The reason I suggest this is because it's going to last longer than like 30 or anything less than 50. And you might even want to go higher than this. What you want to do is apply it in the areas where wrinkles may form. So any lines on your face, smile lines right here, lines under your eyes, you want to apply it mostly there and your forehead. But if you want to still get tan and some people actually even like getting burned, you can apply less of it in areas like right here, the large areas of your skin. This is going to show less sun damage. That's if you're getting really particular about it. And by the way, you can still tan with sunscreen on. But that's beside the point. The second thing that's most important to keeping your face from looking like this is moisturizing. Now you don't have to get it from here. This is my Amazon storefront. If you click on the skincare, you can find this retinol based moisturizer. Now the reason you use this is because retinol repairs damage.